Peace and welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, absolutely. So we're having enchiladas tonight for dinner and we're using the remainder of that roasted chicken. So I've gone ahead and picked it clean. And now I want to do a little bit of a refried bean. I didn't have any pintos in my cupboard in a can. But I did have some white navy beans, and I think those are going to be extra delicious. I'm not worried about it one bit. We're going to treat them just the same as we would a pinto. So let's go on and make some refried beans. A nice white onion here. It's on the smallish side. See so y'all doing good today? Are you doing anything fun or exciting? Let me know. Well, I've had kind of an adventure out in the yard today. I went outside to, you know, water the garden take care of the plants, do some weeding, what have you. Anyhow, I had the water hose and I was watering and just, you know, daydreaming and enjoying like temperatures was 77 degrees. It was fantastic. Anyhow, I'm watering and then like all of a sudden something at my ear. Yeah, a hummingbird. A hummingbird buzzed me right in yeah, there's no nectar in there, dude. Like, bzz, anyhow, it freaked me out. And I, the water hose, I dropped it and it was still spraying and I got covered with water. And, you know, just anyhow, it got buzzed by a hummingbird. And afterward, I was completely delighted. Like, oh, it was a hummingbird. He thought I was a flower, maybe. I thought that was pretty awesome. But at the time, it scared me you know the living daylights right out of me then something bit me on my eyelid i don't know what that is but you know i put a little neosporin on it hoping for the best and i'm excited about mexican food night i love mexican food and yeah it's just part of something about you know growing up in arizona you eat a lot of mexican food we don't eat as much as some people I know some people that really like some Mexican food, um, but we enjoy it, and it's kind of a special treat. You know, I have cooked about 99% of all meals at home for the last three years. Yeah, ever since 2020, I've been cooking at home, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you know, you've got to you've got to keep it going. You've got to try some things. You've got to, you know, some nights we have Mexican, some nights we have Asian, some nights we have, you know, Southern food. you got to keep the rotation going so you don't get burned out or bored. So, yeah, Mexican food, yay, great. Now, I have already drained my can of these navy beans. And I think you can make refried beans out of whatever you have. Pintos, those are traditional white beans, black beans, you know, whatever you got. I had a can of black eyed peas in there and I, it was between this or the black eyed peas. Probably wouldn't make refried beans out of those, you know, black eyed peas, but I think they would be delicious in an enchilada. Yeah. So we're going to have chicken enchiladas with, you know, refried white beans. And then I'm going to have like a little sliced salad some tomatoes, maybe some olives. I think there's some in there. And we're going to have an extra special sauce on top. I'm excited about. Okay, got my onion chopped pretty finely. Not mad at that at all. And I have a little bit of bacon fat. Yeah, because the other day I cooked bacon and then I just went ahead and I used some of it to make our fiesta corn. That's going to be our side tonight. And then, you know, I just put the rest of my collection of this little clarified bacon fat. I keep this in the refrigerator on in the shelf with the butter. And it stays pretty pliable. I'm going to take out that much. It's maybe a tablespoon. And I'm going to start cooking my onions in it. Let's go ahead. I'm going to turn that up to a six. That's like a medium medium low something like that six you know you could cook these on a three especially if you had you know like kids running around and you couldn't keep your eagle eye on them 
Yeah, cook it on a three. It'll take you longer, but you'll get there. Same result. I'm not gonna wait for this bacon fat to melt. I'm gonna go ahead and put my onions in there because I do want those to render down as much as possible. It'll be fine. Absolutely. Okay, so my onions are well on their way. I don't really want a lot of color on these. I just want them, you know, not to be so raw tasting. And we are just about there. I'm probably going to give this about two more minutes before we go ahead and add the rest of our things. Okay, I've got a 15.5 ounce can of the white, e white navy beans. I'm going to go ahead and add those. Now, I have drained that can. Got it all day free. Of the liquid inside because I don't prefer it. If you have no problems with it, by all means, add it. Now, I know this looks like La Victoria, but it is, in fact, homemade chicken stock that I've had in my freezer. I'm going to go ahead and add that. That's maybe one cup. I'm going to go ahead and give this one half teaspoon of taco seasoning and one half teaspoon of granulated garlic. Hello, Gilroy. Got the wrong side. One half teaspoon of the granulated garlic. Maybe that was a little bit heaping. I'm still okay with it. And one half teaspoon of my smoked paprika. You could absolutely use sweet. Here we go. Because I want my beans to taste delicious. So they're gonna need a little, they're gonna need a little juice. They're gonna need a little bit of love. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get those seasoned up. I am going to let these just simmer at a six or until that chicken stock has reduced by half and those onions basically just disappear and the beans tenderize just a little bit because I want them nice and smooth for, you know, mashing. Absolutely. So I'm gonna let those just boil down and get extra delicious. That chicken stock will add a certain unctuous to them and yeah, not gonna be my smell amazing already and then we'll finish adding our spices this is fresh dried cilantro from my garden and i dry it and when i can't grow cilantro then i have some nice and you know as fresh as can be I think the color is fantastic if you do not care for cilantro i know that this is a very polarizing spice certainly omit it if all you have is the taco seasoning you are still in business because that has all kinds of medley of spice. That's got your cumin, that's got your paprika, that's got your garlic. It's got all kinds of good things in there. And so if you are low on spices or you are low on funds and you need a spice, I would absolutely grab the taco seasoning. I would grab the taco seasoning. I would grab the Italian seasoning. Um, and then I would grab some kind of multi-purpose you know, seasoned salt, Lowry's, or the Morton Seasonal, or, you know, just, yeah, you don't have to have a whole spice cupboard full of stuff. You know, you can just get it going with whatever it is you've got going on. These are at a nice boil. I'm going to go ahead and add, I don't know, maybe that was about a tablespoon of my cilantro to it. Just give this a stir up. And there is plenty of moisture in there to rehydrate any dried herbs or for that matter any dried veg that you wanted to add just going to go ahead and let these go and i want just a few tablespoons of liquid remaining to help me blend these up okay so i've reduced by more than half but let's see if i can there is still a couple of tablespoons of liquid in there. These beans are super tender and soft. 
I had the immersion blender out because that's how I was going to zip, zip, zip them. But you know, I think I can just do it with a regular potato masher. If I didn't think I could get them mashed well enough with a um, potato masher, then absolutely, you know, or if you're doing a really big pot and that's way too much for you to mash by hand, by all means, get out the immersion blender or put them in your food processor or maybe your ninja or a vitamix that should be just fine but these beans are so tender after having that little you know that little fry up that little boil down with the reduced chicken stock yeah they're not they're just coming together super good those onions are all cooked down we shouldn't have any big chunks hanging out the side of our face going to give these a little a few more mashes and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I end up with. Here are my refried navy beans. They are super tasty and delicious. I'm going to get them in the refrigerator so that we have everything ready to go to assemble our enchiladas so that dinner is quick and easy. That's always a win. That was the whole purpose of meal planning. You know, I didn't have pinto beans, but I'm also not going to run to the store to buy them you know make use of the things that you have already purchased that you've stocked in your pantry refrigerator freezer what have you because i can guarantee you that if i go over to that albertson's or i go over to the dollar tree and no matter how much i say to myself i'm only going to buy you know a two dollar can of beans or a dollar 25 can of beans i'm not leaving those stores with just that can of beans something's going to catch my eye and I'm going to, you know, shoot the moon. I'm going to blow the budget. Yeah. I'm on a kind of a tight budget because I'm saving for the holidays. And so I don't want to go spend $30 at the Albertsons or the Dollar Tree today because I've got all of my meal plan. I've got my meal plan. I've got my meal prep. I've got everything. All my ducks in a row. Got my life together a little bit this week, kind of. Anyhow, these are delicious. Andrew came to get his lunch. We're having peanut butter and jelly. And um, he came to get his lunch, wanted a little taste. Yeah, gave it. he said these were better than any that he that I have purchased in a can. And why have I waited so long to make these delightful little um, refried beans for him? He didn't even know they weren't pintos. Right, well, we're getting close to dinner, so let's start assembling our enchiladas. I'm using these carb balance tortillas. You know, they're all right. I'm not mad at them. A couple fewer calories, you know, it'll be okay. Got my baking dish already here. And you could certainly use corn or regular flour tortillas. This is some of my um, refried navy beans. And I'm going to give them just a little smear on my tortilla yay hooray got a little bit of spinach right here as you know we got to get our veg on a little bit of spinach on there not too much this is the chicken that i pulled off of the remainder um, of the bird the carcass and uh combination of white meat and dark meat not mad at that at all I'm going to put a little handful in here. And I did wash my hands, I promise. I have grated about six ounces of um, Colby Jack cheese because that's what I have in the refrigerator. And I'm going to put a little bit on there. I want to make sure to reserve enough to go onto the top because that's my favorite part. Get that on over and then just roll, 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 tuck and roll. It's not necessary when I'm making enchiladas to seal up the sides. That's what makes them kind of quick and easy. And then go ahead and put them seam side down in your baking dish. Just like that. If the filling falls out a little bit, you know, don't worry about it. 
because you're going to use a spatula you're going to scoop these onto a plate you get all those extra little bits it'll be just fine okay i've got a little bit more of my refried navy beans put a good amount on there some spinach you don't like spinach just you know omit it that's fine you could just do the beans the chicken and the cheese that would be a-okay broccoli would be delicious as well wouldn't be mad about that at all a little bit of cheese i usually think that two enchiladas per person um is a pretty good serving oops little chicken fell out just tuck it back in hello there we go and then seam side down back into the dish i'm gonna get these all assembled i'll show you my dish when we're all done you wanted to make these vegetarian omit the chicken omit the bacon fat from the refried beans and then you know i would do the refried beans i would do the spinach maybe also a little bit of broccoli include the cheese roll them all up yeah you could make these absolutely vegetarian or vegan for that matter okay here are how my enchiladas look all rolled up now i did six because that will feed us for dinner tonight and then leave us one each for a smaller lunch portion tomorrow that's just fine if you were doing a lot or if you wanted to make this into a freezer meal just keep on rolling i still have a little bit of the refried bean i still have a little bit of chicken that i might make into chicken salad and i grated six ounces of cheese but we still have plenty and i think there's plenty inside of each of my enchiladas but you know we're gonna just go ahead and gild the lily a little bit and add a little bit more cheese right on top my mother did not cook with a lot of cheese my mother um made a lot of gravy a lot and it was delicious and good um but did not cook with a lot of cheese and probably that was because you know, i don't remember there being prepackaged shredded cheese back then yeah i don't think she was into all the grating and honestly i grated this by hand i'm not into all the grating either i'm grating this and i'm thinking man but i got this big block a 32 ounce block with my rewards points over at the albertsons for free and so you know i wasn't mad at that one darn bit i am going to go ahead and say that this is plenty of cheese for andrew and i if you want more you know go for it i'm going to go ahead and save this to top my little tiny bit of refried beans tomorrow so what we'll do is we'll each have an enchilada for lunch tomorrow and then a little side of the refried beans a little bit of the cheese on top and that should make a really super yummy lunch now i'll be excited about lunch too but this enchilada is going to need a little sauce and i don't have enchilada sauce in my cupboard you know i looked and looked i thought i had some but you know anyhow i didn't get on the grocery list but once again I looked in my pantry looked in my refrigerator and i looked in my refrigerator and i have this little teeny tiny bit of this herdez guacamole salsa and i'm tired of looking at it so we're gonna move it on along so i'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there that's maybe four tablespoons of the guacamole salsa you could just do this with regular red salsa whatever you got laying around got some sour cream and I'm going to add equal parts. So about four tablespoons. Maybe that was a Whopper. Okay. So just about all of this. I'm going to reserve just a little bit for tomorrow's lunch. That won't hurt a bit. And now I'm going to mix this together. Uh, you got kids and they don't like hot things. They, kids or grandkids, they don't like hot things. Let me tell you what i would do is i would go ahead and make these and then i would pour um, ranch dressing into a bowl 
and maybe put a teaspoon of taco seasoning in there maybe a squeeze of lime if you're so inclined if you got one or you got one of those plastic ones that you squirt in yeah that's exactly what i would do because you know nowadays if you put enough ranch dressing on something you can usually get kids to eat it so if that's the only way you could get kids to eat enchiladas i'm saying go for it have at it you will have a very similar experience it will be creamy and saucy and delightful and your kids will be just pleased as punch with ranch dressing. I myself, believe it or not, shh, don't tell people. I'm not a fan of ranch dressing. I like the powder and I like to add that to certain things just for a little flavor bump, but ranch dressing on a salad, not my favorite. Okay, so there we go. We got this all incorporated and I, let's taste it. Let's see if it needs anything. I got a clean spoon. Yep. So even though that is a medium, when I add that sour cream to it, I could probably even serve this to someone that doesn't enjoy spicy food and they, they would be okay. Yeah, it just took that down a little bit, and this is going to melt and get, yeah, it's going to get on down in there. It's going to be delicious. So let's go ahead and just dollop this right on top. It's a good way to use something. That, that probably wouldn't have lasted another week in my refrigerator. just want to get every bit because that's delicious oh hello and then I'll just spread this around for pretty good coverage I don't mind if my tortillas Get a little crunchy on the outside i like that little crunch but there we go that will just meld all in and get in there with that cheese and just be super yummy and delicious if you wanted to put just a little bit more cheese on top nobody's gonna be mad about that okay all right here we go now all I'm going to do is pop it into my Easy Bake Oven until it reaches a safe internal temperature of 165 just so it's heated all the way through um, because pretty much all of our components are cooked. So we just need it hot and bubbly and completely delicious. All right, my lovelies, it's dinner time. While this baked, I had a 30-minute nap on the couch. It was delightful. Let's make a plate. I didn't have any olives. I just had tomato, cucumber, some limes. We're just going to have to make do. We're not going to suffer. It'll be fine. Heated up my Fiesta um, corn in the microwave. It took about four minutes, and that's piping hot, I can tell you that. So let's go ahead and put some on the plate here. Looks good. Pig, Piggy's excited about tonight's dinner. He woke up from his nap, too. So these came out of the Easy Bake Oven. I think they look super yummy and delicious. Yay, hooray. They're piping hot.
belly. I'm going to put a little bit of tomato on mine. I'm going to take a line and squeeze that right on top of everything because that will just make the whole experience just a little bit more yum. And let's see, some cucumbers, a little bit more tomato, and there we go. There's my plate. Enchiladas, fiesta corn, some cucumbers, some tomatoes. Looks delicious. Let's get a fork and take a bite. Yeah, a taste test, a quality assurance test. Let's take a bite, see how we did. I'm gonna take a small bite so I don't burn my face off. Okay. Ooh, with a little tomato. Mm-hmm. Yay! It's delicious. Let's taste the corn too. Ooh. Ooh, with that little bit of lime. Yeah. That's delicious. All right, my loves, be good, be careful. Look both ways. I'll see you next time. I, I gotta go eat dinner and watch Jeopardy. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'll see you next time.